Hello and welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at some practice problems of creating Euler diagrams to determine the validity of an argument. So here are four practice problems. Pause the video, see if you can create the Euler diagrams for each one, and then you can check back with me. Okay, so each of these has two premises and one conclusion. Let's go through them one by one. The first one says, no fish can talk. Nemo is a fish. Those are our two premises. No fish can talk is premise one. Nemo is a fish is premise two. Our conclusion, therefore, Nemo cannot talk. Okay, so let's set up premise one. No fish. So we have one set for fish. And what do we know about these fish? None of them can talk. So here we're going to have talkers. Okay, Nemo is a fish. So we're going to put Nemo right in the little fish piece and then therefore Nemo cannot talk. Is this argument valid or not? Yes, because it says no fish can talk. There's no overlap between these two sets. There's no debate about where Nemo belongs. This argument is valid. Okay, in our second example, we have premise one, all mosquitoes can fly. We have premise two, all helicopters can fly. And our conclusion, a mosquito is not a helicopter. Okay, well, let's see if that conclusion logically follows based on the information we were given in the premises. So all mosquitoes fly, so we need things that can fly. So I'm going to say flyers. And then we're going to put mosquitoes in here. All helicopters can fly. Okay, well, there's going to be a set in here for helicopters. Then the conclusion is a mosquito is not a helicopter. I don't think we get to say that because there could be some overlap between mosquitoes and helicopters. It doesn't really give us specifics about the mosquitoes and helicopters, right? So the mosquito could be here or it could be in the overlap of mosquitoes that are helicopters. So I don't think this is a valid argument. We're going to say that it is invalid. Okay, our third example, some students use TikTok. Miguel is a student. Miguel uses TikTok. Okay, so premise one, we have students and TikTok users, and it's some, so we need some overlap. Okay, students and TikTok users. Then it says Miguel is a student. So Miguel could be here, or Miguel could be here. Can we logically conclude that Miguel uses TikTok? No, we cannot, because maybe Miguel is one of the students who does not. This argument is invalid. And our last example, no fractions are integers. Whew, that is a false statement. But again, we are not concerned about that. And our conclusion here, no fractions are integers. So here we're going to have fractions. And here we're going to have integers. And this is mathematically incorrect. I cannot, <laughs> cannot say this enough. That is not necessarily true. Okay, but we're not concerned about that. We just want to know if this argument is valid or not. Then it says two-fifths is a fraction. So we're going to put two-fifths here in our fraction set. Can we conclude that two-fifths is not an integer? Yep, it is definitely not an integer because it's in our very separate fractions set. So this argument is valid. These have been examples of looking at the validity of arguments using Euler diagrams. Thank you for stopping by.